Hi there, I'm Dane and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn about generating Cypress Cucumber reports and publishing them using our GitHub Actions workflows. So let's jump straight into the code. On the right here, we have our basic.yml GitHub Action workflow definition. We wrote this previously, and what we need to do is add a couple of extra steps, one for generating the report and one for uploading it. So let's start with generating. This action is just going to run a shell command, changing into our TypeScript React uh, folder and executing our NPM script to generate the report. Our second action is actually going to upload the report. This action is going to use a pre-built GitHub action uh, for uploading artifacts. Going to use version two of that action. We need to provide some additional information or parameters to this action. So we need to tell it the name of the file that we want it to, um, uh, the name of the artifact that we want it to publish, and then what is the path to that artifact. So to do that, we use the with, key, uh, with property. The name will be Cypress Cucumber Report and the path will be into our to do MVC TypeScript React folder inside a Cypress folder and then a Cucumber report. Um, we put a slash on the end and that will upload that whole folder as an artifact for us. So let's uh, commit this and then push it up to GitHub and see what happens. Okay, I've pushed that change to GitHub. So over here on our Actions tab, you should see Generate and Upload Report in GitHub Actions is just being queued to execute. Okay, so as we can see, previous runs of the job take about three minutes and 20 seconds. Most of that time is actually executing the tests and the extra, uh, steps that we just added only take a few seconds. So while those three minutes run, let's go and have a look at the upload artifact uh, action. So lots of actions are, are available on GitHub at the actions um, organization. And this one in particular is uh, upload artifact. See, uploads artifacts from your workflow, allowing you to share data between jobs and store data once the workflow is complete. And there's also one called download artifact if you want to uh, maybe compile artifacts across repositories or applications or something like that. Um, here is the usage. In particular, we're uploading an entire directory because the Cypress Cucumber report um, script that we're using creates a directory with um our report in it and then we can um, upload it so pretty simply this is as you can see what we did before upload artifact uh, um, give the name and the path to the file that you want to upload okay we're still running let's go into here and see how we're going we're at one minute 40. if you're liking this video so far please consider hitting the like button one thing that this uh, upload artifact action will do is it will create a zip file and attach it to our, um, our build. We can then click on that link to download the zip file, open the zip file and browse our report. So there's an extra step there where you have to download the report, open, open the zip, and then, um, then you can see the published report. 
One thing that would be really nice is if we could just um, attach a link to our uh, GitHub Actions workflow build, and when you click it, it just opens a web page with our report on it. Um, so that would be really great. What we, what I will do is I will release a video. Uh, the next video will um, show us how we can do that, uploading the report to an Amazon uh, AWS S3 bucket, and then we can just browse the report directly. We're able to just click a link and then see that report immediately. So if you want to see that video, please consider um, hitting the subscribe button and you'll catch that video and any others that I've released. Three minutes, two seconds. If you haven't seen my previous Learn Cypress Cucumber series, um, go ahead and check out the playlist. I'll put the link to the playlist, to this repository, to the upload artifact um, action, all in the description. Okay, that has completed. And as we can see down the bottom here, we now have artifacts that were produced during runtime. Okay, two megabytes of a Cypress Cucumber report. We can click that and download it. And then we can open the zip file and uh, open this HTML file. Yeah. That. So here is our report, the same as if we would have run the generate report locally on my computer. Um, I just download it and then I can browse the results of my tests. Thanks for watching the video today. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to uh, drop them down below in the comment section. Check out the description for all the links that you need. If you want to contact me um, outside of YouTube, you can check me out at twitter.com slash daneharnett. And also I live stream coding at twitch.tv slash daneharnett. So you can come over there, we can chat live and maybe build some cool things together. So thanks again and see you in the next video.